hello guys welcome back to another Android studio tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about how to manage your Android application appearance in different screen sizes in the case of a large display you can display more information but in the case of a small display you need to use multiple activities or multiple fragments to display the more information so you need to manage your ap application appearance for different screen sizes the Fragment API is the better choice to manage your application appearance for different screen resolutions. So here I am going to create an Android application that will automatically manage its appearance based on the screen size. So before going to make the application, here I am going to show you a simple application that will automatically adjust its appearance for different screen size. So this is a tab display. So this application contains two fragments. So whenever this application run on a large display, it will show two fragments. The left fragment will display some headline and the right fragment will display some description for the headline. So whenever I select a headline on the right fragment, it will display more information corresponding to this headline. That means the news description. Whenever I select another headline, it will change the content of the second fragment based on the selection on the first fragment. So this, in this case, this, this one is a large display. So I can display two fragments side by side. This is the first fragment and this is the second fragment. But if the same application run on a small device, there is but there is no not much enough space for a small display so I can display only one fragment at a time so I have to manage this application appearance for different screen sizes in this case there is plenty of spaces available so I can display two fragments side by side now I am going to run the same application on a small device okay now here I run the same application on a small display device so if I run the same application on a small display device, it will show only the first fragment. That means the headline fragment. So the user can select a headline from the first fragment. So here I select the first headline. It will show another activity that contain the second fragment. It will show the news article corresponding to headline 1. Now here I am going to select headline 2. So now here, the second fragment contain the news article corresponding to headline 2. So if the same application run on a large display, it will show two fragments side by side. The first fragment is, will display the headlines and the second fragment will display the news article. But if the same application run on a small display device, it will show only the headline fragment. So whenever user select one of the headlines, it will display another activity that contain the second fragment and the second fragment display the news article corresponding to the news user selection so now we are going to create this application okay now we are going to make the same application so we have to create a separate we have to create two launcher activity layout file this is because for a large display device we have to display two fragments on the activity main.xml file but in the case of a small device small display we can display only one fragment so we, we need two activity main.xml file that means we need two layout for the launcher activity here the launcher activity is the main activity.java so in normal case there is only one launcher layout activity main.xml but here in this case we need to manage our application appearance in different screen sizes for in the case of a large display we have to display two fragments side by side the first fragment will display the headlines and the second fragment will display the articles and in the case of a small device uh, we can display only the headline fragment so we need two activity main.xml file for the main activity so now we are here I am going to manage the application appearance for large display devices for that we need to create another activity main.xml file so right click the layout file and select the layout resource file and same file name 
activity main dot xml and change the layout into layout large layout large and click ok now inside the layout directory you can see another activity main.xml is available but the directory is large so if the device is a large display device for example in the case of a tab display the system the android system will automatically automatically select the launcher layout from the large directory so in the case of a large display we can put two fragments but in the case of a small display we can display only one fragment that is a headline fragment okay now we need to add two fragments first fragment is for displaying the headlines and the second fragment for displaying the news articles so now I'm going to create the first fragment so first we have to create the layout for the first fragment so right click the layout file and create layout resource file I name it as headline fragment layout and click OK so first we have to add a list view into this layout that will display the headlines now here I am going to design this uh, layout for the first fragment okay now here I finished the design for the uh, headline fragment layout so here I add a list view with ID list headline and here I change the background color of this layout into black okay so this contain a list view for displaying the headlines now we have to create a class for this fragment so right click the package and create a new Java class and here I am going to name it as headline fragment and click OK this is a fragment so extends fragment and override the on create view method now we have to inflate this fragment so first create an object of view class name it as view equal to inflator dot inflate specify the layout r dot layout dot headline fragment layout now container is the view group and false and finally return this view so return view okay now we have the first fragment that, that will display the headlines now we have to create another fragment for displaying the news articles now here I am going to add another layout for the second fragment so right click the layout folder and create a new layout resource file and name it as news article simply name it as article layout article fragment layout article fragment layout and click OK now here we need to add two text view the first text view is for displaying the news headline and another text view for displaying the news contents now here I am going to make the design okay now here I finish the design of the news article fragment here add a text view for displaying the news heading and here is a view attribute this is for 
displaying a underline for the news headline here is the design this is the heading and here I put a underline for the heading that's why here I use the view attribute and there is another text view for displaying the news contents article contents and the first text view ID is headline text ID heading text ID and the second one ID is description ID DESC ID okay so now we have the two fragment sorry now we have to add a class for the second fragment article fragment so we have to create a new Java class so right click the package and create a new Java class name it as article fragment okay and click ok extends fragment now override the on create view method create an object of view class name it as view equal to inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot article fragment layout now container and false and return this view okay now we have the two fragment first fragment for displaying headlines and the second fragment for displaying the news articles okay so on the first fragment we add a list view on the headline fragment we add a list view now we have to create another layout for displaying each row for this list view so now here I am going to add another layout for the list view so create a new layout the resource file I name it as headline list layout and click OK now here we need to add a text view for displaying one row of headline one row of data for the list view now here I am going to make the design okay now finish the design for this layout that contain a text view with ID row item and change the overall height of this layout into 45 dp and change the background into black so here is the design this is the uh, this is the one row of data for the list view okay now we have the two fragments now we have to add the information now we have to add the headline into the list view so go to the headline fragment first here we need to create an object of list view I name it as list view now we have to initialize the list view object so list to view equal to view dot find view by id r dot id dot we have to check the id of the list view so go to the headline fragment layout the list view id is list headline so list headline typecast this one into list view ok uh, now we have to add some information we need some data for adding the headlines on the list view so here I already add some data on the string stored XML file here I add two string array the first string array name is news article news title that I add headline 1, headline 2 and up to headline 7 using item attribute. So this is the data source for the list view. So for displaying the headlines on the list view we need an array adapter object. So create an object of array adapter. It's working with a string. I name it as adapter. Okay. Uh, now we have to initialize the 
array adapter object so adapter sorry before we need to get the information from the string stored XML file for that uh, we have to create a string array I name it as headlines now headlines equal to get resources dot get string array r dot array dot news title now we can initialize the array adapter so adapter equal to new array adapter first specify a context this uh, now you have to specify the layout for the list view so r dot layout dot our layout name is headline list layout so headline list layout now we have to specify the text view ID so go to the headline headline list layout here the text view ID is a row item so r dot id dot row item and finally specify the resource here the resource is the string array headlines so headlines